Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this new episode of how to become a top 1% destroyer captain, I will talk you through on a pretty, let's say, high end level of skill. Um, I will teach you how you can guess enemy ships when they are unspotted and uh, which signs there are to predict where they probably be on the map. So while this sounds pretty complicated, I'm basically teaching you that you don't need twist and track uh, in a 9 versus 9 or let's say multiplayer game. Um, I use uh, twist and track in a 1 or one versus 1 or 3 versus 3 ranked game. Um, but in a 9 versus 9, there are so many signs that you can guess where enemies will be that I usually don't use this perk. So in this uh, mini episode, I'm going to teach you how you can read all these signs and make your best guess. So having said that, let's get started. Basically, we're talking about six major signs and things you can read to guess the enemy positions. In a game, if you press your console button for this uh, in-game map, where you get the full screen map, uh, on this map you can see the first five bullets I've put up on the screen. The first is smoke. Whenever a destroyer or a cruiser smokes up, this smoke will be visible on the map. So while the cruiser is not spotted, you can see the smoke of an enemy ship and of your own, of course, um, on the whole map. So it must not be uh, in your spotting range to be able to be shown on the map. The same goes for planes. So um, whenever you see a plane on the map, uh, then you can be pretty sure there is some cruiser nearby unless it's carrier planes. Planes um, have to be spotted though, uh, smoke doesn't have to be spotted. So, But still planes will be spotted on a large distance and you see this, the planes uh, of a cruiser probably much earlier than the cruiser itself, especially if the cruiser is hiding behind an island and you see a, a plane circling around that island, you can be very confident that there is a ship behind. A bit harder to detect are gun traces, but if you watch uh, the minimap very carefully, and I'll give you some examples soon, uh, which I took from AI games, just to uh, show you how games develop and what you can see on the minimap, you can uh, you can see the gun traces as well. So uh, they can even show you where enemy ships. Uh, have to be positions uh, positioned if the guns come from that direction. Number four are torpedo tracers. These are the small uh, little red and blue triangles. Uh, each represents a torpedo. And uh, if you see them on the on the map on this map here, um, they show you the direction where they have been shot from. So you can have a good guess uh, that there must be a ship there uh, in the direction where the torpedoes came from. So depending on the range of these torpedoes, um, they, they, uh, they will be spotted all over the map, but uh, depending on the range, uh, the position may change of the ship which fired them. For example, if you have a 16 kilometer uh, torpedo and uh, you only happen to see the traces at the very end, uh, they have been probably fired a minute ago, so uh, you need to adjust your guess. But if you if you spot them the second they, they have been fired, and the minimap will show them um, uh, as tracers, even if they are not within torpedo spotting range of a ship, uh, you can really guess where these ships will be. And this is the very interesting, uh, why I tell you to use this uh, map here, uh, constantly every few seconds to see what's going on. Where's the smoke? Where are the tracers? Where are the torpedoes? Especially if you want to hunt a, uh, a destroyer in the end of the game and he releases torpedoes uh, from the from the red little uh, triangles, you can have a good guess where the 
where the destroyer is. Number five is the last position marker, which is uh, the, the, the blacked or let's say grayed out position of a ship. Uh, it can be a sunken ship, uh, but usually it's um, a, a position where a ship last has been spotted. And you can see them on, on this map as well uh, once, once the ga game progresses. And um, in a combination of all these uh, points, um, you can, you can have a very good guess where enemy ships are, especially unspotted cruisers or destroyers. And um, to add on this, uh, it brings me to number six, which is the hardest. And I will give you an example uh, later in this video uh, where, I where I have a, uh, some, some standard game footage. Uh, if, you, if you use all this knowledge, what you gather from this uh, map here, uh, together with sh ship information, together with some logical way of thinking, if you put yourself on the chair of the enemy team, then you can have a very good guess where enemy destroyers will be. And uh, this is the reason why I usually don't play with uh, twist and track in my in, in my standard configurations. I rather go for torpedo reload uh, or range extender or, or perks like those. Um, but um, if you have some experience, um, you really can have a very good guess where, where ships are in a certain moment of the game. Uh, based on all the information you gather from this mini-map, uh, on the on your experience uh, where people usually move uh, where they stay you see a plane you see tracers you see torpedoes you see smoke um, there's so much information but you have to make use of that let me just add that i uh, recorded two ai games for uh, explaining purposes and uh, i didn't want to collect this footage in a real game because I didn't want to screw somebody's game. But I think uh, these these two AI games uh, pretty well show um, what information you can get uh, from from monitoring uh, this overview map. Uh, here's another game and I just let this game uh, run and develop and you can especially in the B spawn uh, see all the tracers, uh, the, the little white dots when, when the ship shoot each other, you can see the smoke popping up, you can see the torpedoes uh, being um, fired and all that stuff. And it should just give you an idea uh, that you pretty much can watch um, the battle like on the television here. But do yourself and all your teammates a favor and <laughs> don't do that uh, like in five minutes into the game. But just uh, use this for a few seconds and uh, while you while you're in in the game, so uh, you don't miss the battle and uh, just hanging back. So you need to gather the information, but then you also have to make use of that information. Only that will make you a good player. Let me just highlight in this uh, real game I played the division of uh, two destroyers in the enemy team because that will be important when it comes to uh, gathering information and guessing where people are. So uh, this is some, some standard game I've played and um, I'm using this footage because it perfectly explains um, how you can make your best guess uh, based on, on a given game situation. In this game, um, I do not make so much use of what I told you and explained to you before of the, of the minimap. Um, but um, I will use the ship position and division information and so on and so on. And um, the, mm, let's say, the, the logical guessing of where people will move uh, to guess where I can catch them. So we start off with some pretty aggressive uh, move forward into the center. Uh, because obviously the first information you need to know is where did the enemy team start, where 
did the battleship start because that information will allow you to guess where the destroyer started. Uh, usually a destroyer division of two uh, spawns together, uh, a division of three usually uh, spawns on, on two locations. So if you see, um, let's say, two battleships here, um, it's pretty likely that there's at least one destroyer next to that. And also there could be one destroyer from the center or the division uh, could have started in the center uh, because there's only one battleship. Um, so we need to find out where the other ships are positioned. And of course there's some risk I run into the enemy di divisions here, but usually um, the, the destroyers on this map in this setup capture the base tend to go flanking. So that's some, some general statistical experience from my game experience. That's why I uh, went through the middle and of course I have my smoke if some, something had gone wrong. And I'm in a gunboat so I'm not afraid of these uh, ships. Even the, the Sumner uh, is, uh, is quite okay for me to take on because I'm in a Sumner myself. So I'm using the aim predictor to see where these ships are heading, how they move. So I, I constantly use this aim predictor. And um, yeah, while while I try to to assist the flank here and to uh, single out a battleship here, um, we we understand that there are torpedoes in the water uh, because you saw them on the screen. And there we have spotted the first ship. And as I said in the beginning, this is a division. So this is the first information you need to understand. Uh, obviously, a division usually stays together, so there must be a second DD around somewhere. And you need to be aware. I'm not opening fire because I don't want to tell these people, hey, here is a destroyer around, you need to fight. And you saw the second set of torpedoes here. And uh, we are thinking how we can top the battleships and we're closing in um, to, the, to the enemy destroyer and now we are spotted. Uh, so now it's time to open fire and uh, to make use of the smoke generator. Now, let me get your guess where the second destroyer could be. Um, as I said earlier, they usually go together, but why hasn't it been spotted yet? So you should be thinking about that. Uh, so either it hangs around in the back with the enemy team, um, or it's going around that large big island to the left and uh, it went all the way around because you saw the second set which I mentioned. You see here the second torpedo is coming. So obviously uh, he's uh, basically on that square behind the island, um, behind that big island to the south west of myself. So while I'm uh, shooting at the vanguard, um, obviously uh, I'm trying to get these battleships down. I'm constantly thinking, okay, where would I head uh, if I were this ship? And this ship obviously needs to have a look at our team. So uh, they, he is probably trying to get around to later on top the incoming battleship south of me. So um, either the, he's going north, going back to the base, or he's going south. And uh, my best guess is this guy was behind that island and he's probably going south around that island and um, that's why I'm heading into that direction because I'm expecting him to, to come from that direction. And then the Amagi I use uh, my uh, aim predictor but I don't think the Amagi will go continue southwards. I think he will turn in because there's this cruiser uh, sitting uh, north of me behind that island and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to show broadside to that ship so that's why he takes cover from the island uh, south east of the red ship uh, which covers him from the two ships uh, which are next to me um, so he can uh, fire on the, on our cruiser and uh, not showing broadside to the other two ships uh, that's why I fired my torpedoes in that position as if he would turn. So, and now I'm uh, preparing my guns uh, because I, I was thinking, okay, he's probably coming around and look who's there. Uh, obviously, he made all the moves I was guessing he was doing. And uh, why was I guessing that? I was guessing that because I was thinking like this guy was probably thinking how to get the best, best torps uh, out. Um, to get our team. So you have to watch your own team where they move and think where would you be to top your own sh uh, team or to uh, shoot at your own team 
and that gives you a quite good idea where the enemy is probably positioned and then you need to go on the interception course and uh, try to locate that. Obviously that's not going to work 100% of the time uh, but I have a pretty high likelihood of catching people off guard in positions where I expect them but they rarely expect me uh, to be there when they come around the corner. So this is a lot of experience, a lot of map reading, a lot of uh, guessing how people would react and, and expect, um, how you expect them to, to react, and then you can intercept them. As a conclusion, uh, please remember my six bullet uh, points from the start. Um, it's all about uh, reading the minimap. Uh, where is the smoke? Where are the torpedo tracers? Where are the gun tracers? Uh, where are the planes? Um, all that stuff. Where is the last position marker? How do the ship moves? Um, do they need points? Do they need to capture the, capture the base? Do they need to defend? That all will uh, improve your guess of where you can catch them. Again, this is not working every game, but uh, the more you try to get all this information together for yourself, uh, the better you will be. And the more games you play, um, the more experience you will get, and you will be able uh, to, to make your best guess in your own games in the future. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we have come to an end, and thank you very much for your interest uh, in this mini-series. And if you liked it, please hit the thumb up. Um, like the channel, uh, share the video and leave your comments. Thank you and see you out there. Bye bye.